And I think it was a body of work from the beginning of the season till the very end, obviously. And then in addition to that, it's been a process over the last three years. It's not just been um, this year or this tournament. It was a process three years in the making. Um, obviously, we have some great seniors who have helped to build the culture and bringing in a talented sophomore class and an incredibly talented freshman class has, it was kind of the perfect mix of people um, and the culture was in place and the playing just followed that. It's incredibly satisfying and I think, you know, when you're recruiting, you recruit character and um, when I watch all the student athletes play, I just, I can see based on their character and who they are in the golf course, whether or not I want to bring them in. And, and you know, Amber certainly stood out, the freshmen certainly stood out to me immediately, and I felt like, okay, we need to bring these student athletes in, and, and they've made a huge difference to the program, a huge difference to me. Um, the other thing I should say is, um, somebody once told me when I first got into coaching that, it, it, you know, to, to be a great coach, let's say, um, you have to surround yourself with great people, and, and that's what it is. It's, it's just, you know, this has very little to do with me and, and most everything to do with the team that we have, and including the players at home. Um, and I'm, I'm so fortunate to be surrounded by great young women, and I think that's made the biggest difference. I mean, if you watch her, and you watch her compete, she's just, she has grit, she's tough, she, she has this sense of drive, and um, uh, she's never going to let herself fail. She's just going to do her best. And, and, you know, she said to me out on the course, and I don't know if she'll say this in the interview, but she said to me out on the course, so often I'm standing over the ball and I think about my teammates and that I'm doing this for the team, and that just speaks to who she is as a team player. Uh, her winning, um, that's not what she was playing for. She was competing for the team out here and doing her very, very best to put us in a position to win. Um, and, and her kind of claiming the individual championship in the way she did was just a product of how good she is at golf. So we're excited for regionals. I think that's going to be a different challenge for us. Um, but I think mentally, emotionally, where we are right now, the confidence uh, that we played with uh, was huge for this event. And I think that that will carry over into regionals, at least I hope. Um, and then, of course, looking forward to next season. I'm not quite ready to do that yet with the seniors. But looking ahead, yeah, the, the future is, is bright for for Princeton Golf. I'm, I'm really pleased with where we are right now and the culture that we have. I think that's the foundation that we needed um, and hopefully we'll continue to build on that and improve this program. When I'm out on the course to kind of focus more on my team and focus, we have um, our team goals and so I'm focusing on meeting those and not really where I am in the field right now and so I tried to stay connected to my teammates whenever I saw them, waved at them, made sure everyone was doing well and I mean it's great that we won both the team the team um, championship, but also for me to win individually is just so exciting. It's my first collegiate win, and I'm glad that it was this tournament. I feel, I feel like I've been getting there this whole season, and for me to actually be able to perform and win this tournament this season has really just proved that my whole, my whole, like all of my hard work, even before college, has paid off.